Assalamu alaikum, this is Afran Jum welcoming you all to evening news. At a briefing at the Secretariat today, Commerce Minister Tipu Munshi has blamed businessmen for creating an artificial shortage in the market by hoarding swimming oil. কিন্তু ওনাদের বিশ্বাস করেছিলাম কিন্তু ঈদের সাত দিন তারা সেই বিশ্বাসটা রাখে নাই এটা হলো আমাদের ব্যর্থতা এই জন্য আমরা দায় মেনে নিচ্ছি স্টেবল করার জন্য আমরা সার্বিক ব্যবস্থা নিয়েছি দাম বাড়িয়েছে এবং হোপফুলি দুই থেকে তিন দিন মানি ট্রানজাকশন শুরু হলে ব্যাংকের মাঝারে যে দাম ফিক্স করেছেন সেই দামে এই মাল পাবে Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina today sought support from the ADB to implement Delta Plan 2100, saying it is very important for Bangladesh. The Premier made the request when ADB Vice President Sheikh Jin Chen paid a courtesy call on her. She also sought ADB support to foster regional cooperation, particularly in the areas of connectivity, trade and energy cooperation. TIB has expressed its concern over the draft of the Data Protection Act 2022, which could potentially become another black law. In a detailed report, they have pointed out inconsistencies, irregularities and redundancy in some provisions of the draft. TIB said that, that the draft doesn't contain any definition of personal information, which has a dangerous potential to be misused by many parties. The cyclonic storm Oshuni intensified into a severe cyclonic storm over the west central bay at adjoining area. The country's Met Office at 9 a.m. said it is likely to move in a northwesterly direction. Rain or thunder showers with intense lightning flashes is likely to occur at most places over Borishal and Chotogram divisions. Due to cyclone Oshuni, the Met Office asked all river ports to hoist distant warning signal number two. International news. Sri Lanka's Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapakshe offered his resignation amid the worst economic crisis that has led to widespread protests. Mahinda has sent his resignation letter to his brother President Gotabaya today. Meanwhile, government supporters have attacked protesters camped outside the office of Sri Lanka's Premier, forcing the police to impose an indefinite curfew in the capital, Colombo. And that's all from the newsroom for now. To know updates, videos of this bulletin, visit our website www.ntvbd.com. Besides, visit our YouTube and verified Facebook page for updates over NTV's all popular programs and bulletins. Our next bulletin, Shundhar Khabur, will be aired in Bangla at 7.30pm. Thank you for being with us. Have a good time.